Okay, very quick video today. This is just a little announcement that Retrobat 7.3 has just been released. Now, let me just tell you, before going to update Retrobat to this latest release, please watch the video. Every time I release one of these videos, somebody out there will say they've lost a lot of stuff. So just bear with me. What we're going to do first of all, before we show you how to update Retrobat to the latest 7.3, is just head over and check out the changelog for version 7.3 so as always with retro bat updates we got many features added we got fixes so if we just take a look at these i particularly noticed that techno parrot has had some enhancements made to it for retro bat users using techno parrot for modern arcade games this is going to be very beneficial to you We've also got some really cool features here, such as V Pinball or Virtual Pinball. Uh, we got Model 2 fixes just here, which says Fix Guns Configuration. If we scroll down a bit further, we've got some new features added to, say, Dolphin Emulator just here, so we can see. We've also got the N64 Gopher 64 Emulator, which is a new feature of adding control profiles, which is pretty cool if you use Gopher 64. We scroll downwards like i said we've got some more techno parrot just here so techno parrot has certainly had some attention with this release of retrobat 7.3 if we scroll down a bit further we're going to find windows it says add steam amazon gog epic so in the past and since i last released a setup guide for adding pc games to retrobat a lot's changed and a lot of people from time to time will say to me how do you add PC games well by the seams of it this is going to answer some of your questions to make things a little easier for you and under other stuff we've got other stuff so feel free to check out what's been changing what's been added and fixes which have been fixed to the latest release of Retrobat now before you ask me should I update to the latest Retrobat let me just tell you, if Retrobat 7.2 is working fine for you, then there is really no reason to update it at all. But if you must stay on top of things, then let's open up Retrobat. Okay, so as we can see, update available 7.3.0 stable. So what we're going to do is just go to main menu and press an enter button on my keyboard. And we're actually going to update this right now. So if we scroll down to updates and downloads and just select this one. Under update type, as always, make sure this is on stable. I never recommend beta, especially if you're a newbie to a front end system like Retrobat. So make sure this is selected as stable, and we're just going to go on start update. It's going to say working. And it's going to just confirm which version we're currently using. So in my case, I'm using the last release of this, which is of course 7.2. Do you really want to update to 7.3? I'm going to select yes. And on the top right hand side, you can now see a window appear saying update in Retrobat. So we're just going to let this do its thing. Okay, so once that's done, what we need to do now is just close our Retrobat. So we're going to press OK here. And if I go back into main menu, I'm going to scroll down and just go down to quit. If I then go open Retrobat again, and here we go, we can now see it's starting to update Retrobat from what it's just downloaded. So we're just going to wait patiently for this to happen. Now, in the meantime, like I said just a minute ago, before you go updating it blindly, let me just make you aware that if we right-click on the Retrobat shortcut, open file location, if we go into the emulation station folder, into the dot emulation station folder, you're going to find a lot of your settings are actually just here. So make sure to make a backup of these, especially systems, settings, and save states. And just make sure if you do update it that you've backed all of these up. And so you can then replace it with the latest release of Retrobat should you need to do this and if you do lose any of your settings. And of course it goes about saying, but just make sure all your games are backed up too. Now let's just make sure this is on the current version and here it is retrobat version 7.3.0 very simple stuff and that's it for today's retrobat 7.3 update so just please take my advice and before blindly updating retrobat please just make sure you've backed up all your configuration files 
A lot of people in the past have said that they've lost things like that. So in this little video, that's exactly what I've done. I've showed you those crucial files, which you can find in the emulation station folder. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, hit notification, subscribe and like. And also check out my previous Retrobat guides. I'll leave a link for both of my playlists for Retrobat in the comments section. Anyways, until next time, stay retro.